in our homes of sons are agents of change, agents of transformation. How do they transform? They transform lives. That is the line with the book of Matthew, Matthew 5, verse 16. He said, Let your life so shine before men that they may see your good work and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So they become a living epistle. Can somebody who turns the life of that living? Another quality of the son is that sons have spiritual intelligence. Sons have what? Spiritual intelligence. In the book of 2 Kings 6, verse 11 to 12, you know, spiritual intelligence gives you access to spiritual conversations. I will bless this morning. Praise the living Jesus. And lastly, Saul to him in the secret place. Psalm 91. The day he that dwell in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say, the Lord, he is my refuge, my God, in whom will I put my trust. Say, surely he will deliver me from the snares of the fowler. He will deliver me from the arrow that flies by the day or the one that flies by the night. That is sonship. And sonship, dwelling in the secret place, is a place of prayer on a daily basis. How many hours, how many minutes did you set aside for God? Heaven and earth will pass away, possession, everything we are more people will pass away. But that relationship is what will take us to heaven and the grace to make heaven. The Lord will give unto us in the name of Jesus. Shall we rise as we begin to appreciate God?